In this video, we're going to talk about how to evaluate the binomial coefficient. So let's go over the definition for it. This expression, which means n above r, this is equal to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial, where n is a number equal to or greater than r. n can't be less than r. If r is 4, n could be 4, 5, 6, or some other non-negative integer above that. So now let's work on some examples. Let's say we have this expression, 8 above 3. Go ahead and evaluate that. So using the formula, we can see that n is 8 and r is 3. And then we have n minus r, so that's 8 minus 3. Now, how do we evaluate a factorial expression? If you saw this, 4 factorial, what does that mean? 4 factorial is equivalent to this expression. It's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24, times 1, that's going to be 24. 3 factorial is simply 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. 0 factorial is 1, and 1 factorial is also 1. So those are some things that you just needs to commit to memorization, 0 and 1 factorial. So knowing that, we can evaluate this expression. So we have 8 factorial over 3 factorial, and then 8 minus 3, that's going to be 5. So we have 5 factorial. Now, 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial because this will take us all the way to 1. But we don't need to go that far. And notice that we can cancel a 5 factorial. So we're left with 8 times 7 times 6. 3 factorial, we can break that up into 3 times 2 times 1. Now 8 times 7 is 56. 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1, therefore the final answer is going to be 56. So that is the value of the binomial coefficient 8 above 3. Now let's try some other examples. Try this one, 4 above 0. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try it. In this example, n is 4, r is 0. And then we have n minus r, that's going to be 4 minus 0. So we have 4 factorial over 0 factorial times 4 factorial. This will cancel. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 0 factorial is also 1. So the final answer is simply 1. So anytime you see a number if you see a zero on the bottom, regardless of what this number is, your final answer will be one. So if it's five above zero, six above zero, seven above zero, it's going to simplify to one. Now let's move on to the next one. Let's say we have the binomial coefficient seven above five. What is that expression equal to? So n is 7, r is 5, and then we have n minus r factorial, or 7 minus 5 factorial. So before we expand the factorials, let's simplify what we have. 7 minus 5 is 2, so that's 2 factorial. Now 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. But because we have a 5 factorial here, 
we are going to stop at the 5 level. 2 factorial, we can write that as 2 times 1. Now let's cancel 5 factorial. 7 times 6 is 42. 2 times 1 is 2. And then half of 42 is 21. So that's the value of the binomial coefficient 7 above 5. It's equal to 21. Now let's move on to another example. Let's say we have this. We have a binomial coefficient where n and r are the same. What's the value for this one? When n and r are the same, or when r is 0, you're going to get 1. So in this example, n is 9, r is 9, and then n minus r, that's 9 minus 9. 9 factorial we can cancel. 9 divided by 9 will give us 1. And then 9 minus 9 is 0, so we have 0 factorial. 0 factorial is 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. So as a shortcut, just remember, if n and r, if they're identical, it's going to equal 1. Or if r is 0, you're going to get 1 as well. Now let's see what happens when n is just one unit above r. Go ahead and try these two. So this is going to be 9 factorial over 8 factorial times 9 minus 8 factorial. 9 factorial is going to be 9 times 8 factorial and 9 minus 8 that's going to be 1 so we have 1 factorial 8 factorial will cancel we get 9 over 1 factorial is 1 so we just get 9 notice that when n is 1 unit above r we're going to get n whatever n is so here, 9 is 1 unit above 8. So in this case, we just get 9. Let's see that for the next example. So n is 5, r is 4. 5 factorial is 5 times 4 factorial. And 5 minus 4 is 1. So now we could cancel 4 factorial, and we're going to get a similar situation. We're going to get 5. So just like in the previous example, we see that n is one unit higher than r, and our answer is equal to n. So that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to evaluate a binomial coefficient. All you have to do is use this formula and then simplify the expression that you get.